back, we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America and today as we honor all of our veterans with the playing of our national anthem. varsity matchup between the visitors, the Northwood Lady Panthers, and your Rochester Lady Zebras. At this time, we'd like to meet the starting lineups first for Northwood. At a forward, a 5-foot, 8-inch senior, number 15, Jocelyn Edwards. At guard, a five foot three inch junior, number 20, Megan Yoder. At a forward, five foot eight inch senior, number 21, Callie Johnson. At guard, a five foot seven inch junior, number 22, Haley Heffler. And at center, a six foot, two inch junior, number 42, Claire Payne. The Panthers are coached by Taylor Burkhardt. And now, let's meet the starters for your Lady Zebras. At guard, a freshman wearing number two, Aubrey Wilson. At guard, a junior, number three, Riley Clevenger. At forward, a freshman, number 15, Jake Field. At a forward, a junior, wearing 25, Audrey Bollinger. And at guard, a junior, 33, Ella McCarter. <laughs> the Zebras are coached by Joel Burris, assisted by Jake Nye, Nate Basham, and Joe McCarter. This afternoon's varsity officials, Eric Coburn, Kirk Robinson, and Tim Smith. Next weekend, boy, it's yeah. going to be a great time to be in Fort Wayne next Friday night. Uh, around the area, Knox wins, North Judson wins, yeah. a lot of great area teams heading to the uh, semi-state. So. Yeah. I was just going to say Fort Wayne Snyder will be at home yeah. in 5A. Yeah. 
Uh, Leo will be home in 4A. <laughs> Lures will be home in 2A. And Adam Central will be home in 1A. All those schools will within about a 20-minute drive yeah. of each other. Fort Wayne's going to be busy. Yeah. All right, we're ready for the tip here this afternoon uh, as we have – See, it's going to be McCarter and Payne to jump as we get ready to go. And obviously controlled by Payne. It'll be Northwood basketball to start. On the far side is Edwards. Edwards down in the corner. Edwards trying to get in the, and he hands it off. Now they try to look into Payne. They can't get it to her. And here's Johnson. Now back over to Edwards on the left side. Swing it near side to Heflin. Heflin on the far. On the corner, now bring it to the near side down to Johnson. They swing it. They go down into the paint. That is Payne with the basketball. One dribble, kicks it back out. They swing it right side. Now back to the top. Here's Edwards, left side, trying to get Payne. Bollinger doing a good job there. McCarter helping the front her a little bit. Into the corner. Now they go to Payne on the right side. Payne, turn around, jump off the glass. Good. 2-0, Northwood leads. Bollinger doing a great job from the left side, but then when they switched it to the right side, Payne... Obviously just took it over. Now they go down to Bollinger on the Rochester side. Bollinger, one dribble, now gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger, now to McCarter. McCarter going to be against Payne defensively. And now here's Bollinger, has it stolen. Ball's loose, now picked up by Northwood. Here they push. Here's Edwards with it. Edwards down in the corner. They go into Payne, back to Edwards. Now they swing it out to Johnson. Bring it to the near side, now to Heflin. Three on the way, good. Eflin with a good play on the defensive end, and then she makes a three on the other end. Uh, first uh, minute and a half here, you can't tell me this is their first game of the season. They look pretty sharp. Here is Wilson with the basketball. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger has it near or far side. Clevenger. Now to McCarter back up top. Here's Clevenger running off the screen. They can't get her open. They don't get it to her quite quick enough. McCarter, left side. She'll drive the baseline. Kick it off the field, and it's going to be last touch by Northwood. It'll stay right underneath the zebra basket. 6.18 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 5-0 Northwood. Clevenger will inbound. Over the top now to McCarter. Into the corner. Here's Clevenger. Clevenger, one dribble back to McCarter. Head fakes. Goes into the paint. Throws up a running jumper. No good. And the rebound is going to be touched by Field. It'll go to Northwood. Great look. I'll take that. That's good. Mm -hmm. good shot. Just couldn't get it to fall. And 6.09 here in the opening quarter. Still 5-0 Northwood. Quickly ahead, here's Edwards with it. Back over now to Johnson. They swing it on the far side. Now they bring it back over to Heflin. Heflin back over to uh, Yoder. Yoder goes down, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds as they try to go into Payne, but it'll stay with Northwood. Zebra's great Aubrey, defense there, had the hands Will going. Aubrey Wilson might go with a little bit of a hand check there. <laughs> uh. Johnson will inbound. Johnson. From the corner, will inbound it. And they get it in to Heflin. Heflin now back to Edwards, top of the key. Edwards holding the ball. Now they go to the right side, trying to get it down in the wing, try to work it in, and we get a travel against Heflin. I think Rochester just a little bit better job there and making them a little uncomfortable in the yeah. perimeter instead of just having them play catch out there. Here comes Clevenger again. She'll bring it across the timeline. Guarded by Heflin. Goes left side now to McCarter. McCarter will bring it back up top. Swing it left side. Clevenger. Now to Wilson. Wilson with the basketball. Clevenger left wing. Man defense right now for the Panthers. Wilson with it top of the key. Penetrate. Kicks it to McCarter. McCarter dribbles in. Draws defense. Here's Wilson open three. Off the mark. No good. And a rebound comes away to Johnson. Johnson looks and push. She'll pull up, give it to Edwards. Edwards looks down, can't find anything. Now they'll reverse the basketball. You see what kind of athlete Claire Payne is, though. She's 6'2 and is yeah. comfortable guarding out on the perimeter. Yoder with it. Yoder into the middle. Now to Johnson. Down low to Payne and good to foul. Payne completes the two-pointer. Now she'll go to the line to complete the three-point play. And the foul is coming, I believe, against Field. And it is on a field, excuse me, field with a foul, her first. Team first to the quarter. And to the line to shoot one free throw. Claire Payne, short, and Wilson with the rebound. Misses the free throw. So it's seven, nothing. Zebras with the basketball. Now to Clevenger, Clevenger to McCarter. Top the key, into the free throw line. Up a running jumper, in and out, no good. 
Payne pulls down the rebound. Here comes Northwood. Aubrey, Bowling, uh, Aubrey Bollinger set a nice screen to get um, McCarter open. Top the key to Edwards. Edwards at the volleyball line, comes to the right side. Now she'll swing it back to Yoder. Yoder, top the key. Now she gives it off to Johnson, down in the corner. Bring it back up to Johnson. Johnson swings it to Edwards. Edwards, right side, into the corner to Payne. Payne against Field. Payne almost going to have a five-second call, and there it is. Great defense by Jaden. Jaden Field, she took an elbow even, and now she's gonna get Mia Hottishell to come in for her as a Field with a great defensive effort against Payne, got the five second call. Took a little elbow to the cheek area, looks like. Christina's gonna come over and take a look. Here's pressure now by Northwood, and calls a turnover. McCarter with the travel, trying to hurry up the Zebras, and they did. Success on the press that time. Seven nothing, still our score halfway through the first quarter. Yoder with the basketball. Yoder goes to the right side to Johnson. Johnson into the corner, double team. She's gonna have to get rid of it. Johnson is gonna be tied up. Jump ball, it'll be zebra basketball. So another turnover on Northwood. Turnover number three for Northwood. Great hands by Wilson. Yeah. Had now, her trapped, kind of dribbled in that corner and picked right. up her dribble. Now Coach Burkhardt showed off a press just for one possession. Yeah. Uh, selling back into a man here. Here's McCarter with the basketball. Again against Payne. McCarter around the screen by Bollinger. Ball's loose on the floor. Payne has it and she's going to travel. Yep, rolled over. Can't do that. And she tried to get open and she rolls over. And a Coach Burkhardt. Oh, just questioning, I guess, about the rollover for the travel. 3.35 to go. Hot shovel in and bound. Bowling throw a basket. Bollinger set a nice screen there, but Northwood switched well. Here is Mia with the basketball. Hot shell picks up her dribble. Got to do something with it, and it's turned over. Here is Heflin with the basketball. Quickly ahead to Yoder. Yoder up and good. Megan Yoder gets her first points of the game, and it's 9 nothing. Here comes Wilson. Wilson across the timeline. Now to McCarter. McCarter. Off to Clevenger. Clevenger to McCarter. And a travel on the pivot. So a substitution now for Northwood. And coming in will be number 12, Branham. Branham, a 5'7 freshman. Into the contest. Yoder with the basketball now. Yoder will go to Branham. Branham on the right side against Wilson. Now back to Johnson left side. Johnson has it. Tries to go to Yoder. Ball's loose. Ball's on the floor, and we got a tie up. It'll stay with Northwood this time. Great hustle by Wilson to get on the floor to get tie that thing up. 2.51 to go here in the opening quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 9 0. Randy and Val, glad you could join us this afternoon. Here's Northwood with the basketball, and somebody forgot to uh, guard Johnson, but she misses the layup, and the rebound comes away, and last touch by Payne. Oh, Out of Rochester. bounds, Rochester. Rochester caught a huge break there. Yeah, very huge. Johnson and Payne just collided with each other yeah. going for an offensive rebound. If if Payne had just backed up, backed off, that would be an easy layup. for. Here comes the press by Johnson. Northwood. 1-2-2, two, two. trapped on the corner, and they turn it over. Here's Johnson with it. Quickly ahead to Branham, up and too hard. And then it'll be last touch by Northwood and the Zebra basketball. Again, got a break. Yeah. I missed a wide open layup. Northwestern had some length to them too, but not like this. Here is Rochester again against the press. Clevenger back to the middle to Wilson. Wilson has it, dribbles up forward. Now throws it to Bollinger, a little too hard and stolen by Payne. Now to Johnson. Johnson to Branham, down to the corner. Over the top to Payne, they throw it too hard, but Bollinger gets a hand in the back of Payne, and that's going to be foul number one, foul number two on the quarter. And so now, Yoder will inbound. Boy, defending this play is dangerous, and they did a good job. They get it into Branham. Branham has it. Back in the corner. Now swinging out to Johnson. 
Johnson, free throw line jumper off the mark, no good. And how to show with the basketball. Good box out by Mia. Gives it off to Wilson. She'll bring it across the timeline. Quickly ahead, but they try to get it to Clevenger. Tipped out of bounds by Heflin. It'll stay with Rochester right in front of the Northwood bench. Ella Branham is listed at 5'7". Yeah. She looks taller than that. Yeah. She's got long arms, too. Emily Miller, a 5'6", junior, coming in for the first time for Northwood. Zebras try to get it in. They go in the backcourt now to Wilson. Wilson has it. She'll get it across the timeline with a minute 50 here in the opening quarter. Now right side to Clevenger, or excuse me, to McCarter. McCarter right behind the free throw line, doesn't get the roll, and there is Payne with the rebound. Payne gets it out. Now they go to Yoder. Yoder has it, kicks it in the corner. Here's just inside the three, a shot by Miller, and it's good. Miller with the first two points of the game, and it's 11-0. Wilson has it. Wilson, left side. Now to Hottishell. Hottishell tries to go over the top. It's tipped and stolen. Here's Heflin. Heflin with a layup up. No good, but a foul coming. And a third foul of the quarter coming against Rochester. And Wilson's going to pick up her first. And now... Excuse me, that was Yoder on the got got fouled. She'll go to the free throw line for two. Yoder misses the first one. She'll have one more. Tessa Tessa Branham, a junior, five eight junior, comes in. So Northwood's gone eight deep. Yeah, making some early substitutions here in this first quarter. And the second one is good this time by Yoder. And that'll make it 12 0. 105 to go here in this first quarter. Wilson with the basketball. Wilson crossover in front of Yoder, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds and a foul, I guess, on Yoder. Her first, first of the quarter. Just the opposite of the start from the Northwestern game. Rochester jumped out to an 11 2 lead in that game. Here is a Carter to Wilson under a minute to go. Back to McCarter, rolls around the screen. Now kicks it out to Wilson, Wilson travels. Thought about the shot and decided to put it on the floor. Well, the story, one of the stories is not only has Rochester not scored, but you know, your red hot shooter, Riley Clevenger hasn't even had a, a shot attempt. No. And they are fighting through screens very, very well. Northwood Here. is, and uh, that's Here's a big problem. But out to the near side to Branham. Their on-ball defense is good, but their off-ball defense is good, too. They go down low to 44, Branham, Tessa Branham. Tessa has it knocked out of bounds by Bollinger. It'll stay with Northwood with 32.9 seconds to go. Yeah, I think Tessa Branham got caught a break there. She was headed at trade into a double team, but thankfully Rochester knocked it out of her hands and Northwood's able to retain possession. Yoder to get it in. They do to Heflin. Heflin kicks it back out. Here's a three ball or two on the way. No good. Rebound comes away to Ella Brannon. Shot up, no good. But a foul coming, and I believe it's going to be on McCarter on the rebound. Nope, it's going to be on Northwood. Branham, Ella Branham picks up her first team second. Well, with Zebras with 24 seconds to go have an opportunity to get the goose egg off the board here in this first yeah, quarter. You're just worried about inbounds plays. Northwestern actually had a good bit of success yeah. in inbounds plays um, Wednesday night. And up in uh, Wilson's grill is Yoder on a steal on a layup is missed. Rebound put back is good. And that was Heflin. Heflin gets the two and that'll do it for the first quarter. At the end of one, Northwood leads 14 to nothing here at the end of the first quarter. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Rochester High School as we get ready to start the second quarter. It'll be Zebra basketball trailing 14 to nothing on the Rochester glass scoreboard. And coming out on the floor for Rochester will be McCarter Field. Wilson, Clevenger, and Hunter. Hunter will make her first appearance in this varsity contest here this afternoon. So 
So here we go, starting the second quarter. Zebras have it. McCarter with the basketball against Payne. Or excuse me, Branham this time. Payne is out getting a breather, and there's a three ball by Clevenger. And the Zebras are on the board with Clevenger's first shot of the game. 14 to three. Here's Johnson with it. Johnson now down in the corner. Johnson passes it over to Miller. Miller passes over the top, and it's an over and back call. Turnover on Northwood. And Payne gets a quick breather, and she's right back into the contest. She'll replace Tessa Branham. Well, that was strange. I, did the Northwood girl thought the ball was tipped or something? She just kind of. Yeah, I'm not I sure. I don't know if she was necessarily casual, but and that was after a nice three-pointer by Riley Clevenger. Again, she's got to. She's got to look for a shot. She's got to hunt for a shot here. It's not going to double screen to try to get her open. open. She gets it. Now back to McCarter. Back to Clevenger. Clevenger then throws a pass to uh, Wilson. Stolen. Here's Edwards up and good. Edwards with her first points of the contest and it's 16-3. Just a careless pass there. You can't throw a cross lane pass like that. Here's Wilson with the basketball, top of the key. They try to go to Hunter. She hits it on the right wing. Now off to Clevenger. That pass had too far to travel. Yeah, McCarter. And McCarter's going to be fouled on the attack. It's going to be the first of the quarter for the Panthers. And it's going to be on 15 Edwards. going to be her first. And that'll be out of bounds to Rochester underneath the baseline. This is a good challenge for Ellen McCarter. Stolen by Payne. Payne, left-hand layup, too hard. Edwards there to clean it up, and she goes up and short, and we're gonna have a jump ball to go to Northwood. Two wide open shots for Northwood. That part will tell you it's still early in the season for Northwood, their first game. I was gonna say this is good, gonna be a good challenge for uh, Ella McCarter to have a taller defender yeah. face her, because she might have to see that again. Uh, Claire Payne is 6'2", but can move so well. She's just a, a good athlete at 6'2". They get it in to Miller. Miller on the right side, now to Johnson. Cross-court pass to Edwards, and a double dribble. Turnover Northwood. And Northwood will come in. A substitution for Northwood. And coming in will be uh, Yoder back in the ball game. 6.34 to go before halftime. 16 to three, our score here at Rochester High School. Wilson across the timeline. Wilson against Yoder. Wilson goes to the right side of McCarter. McCarter dribbling back to the middle. Leaves it for Clevenger, but it's tipped out of bounds by Johnson. That, that dribble, and then you just kind of leave it there for Clevenger, that's not very. Right, and that's on Clevenger too. She's yeah. gonna cut it yeah. tight. Cut I mean, she's tight. gonna uh, almost go shoulder to shoulder with. Uh, McCarter. McCarter back to Wilson, top of the key. Back to McCarter. Because if you don't cut it tight, they'll, they will get, in the, they will get in the way and they will get a, a deflection, at least. McCarter, left side. Now back to Clevenger. Clevenger to Wilson, top of the key. They'll reset the offense. Left side now. Down in the corner, Clevenger, an open three, short. Had to rush that one as she saw defenders coming at her. And quickly ahead is Northwood. Down to Payne. Payne goes to work in the block way too hard. Great defense. And a foul coming as McCarter with a great rebound. And Payne going to pick up her first second of the quarter. Kind of a frustration foul by Payne because she just threw that one up for a little too hard. Would it be fair to call Jaden Field a Payne reliever on that one? <laughs> there you go, Chris Brown. Because <laughs> she, she really played good <laughs> defense there. Here's McCarter now with the basketball. McCarter comes to the near side to Wilson. Wilson for Clevenger now. Back to Wilson. To McCarter around the left side, around Payne. Dribbles down. Now Payne cuts her off. She's got to reverse it. Kicks it back to Clevenger. Clevenger, jump stop to McCarter. McCarter drives in. Now for Field, and she's going to be sandwiched. And the third foul of the quarter coming against Northwood. And we'll see who they're going to whistle it against. I believe 21 Johnson, her first, team third. And coming back in will be 22 Heflin. Still Northwood. You have to say this is just old-fashioned help side man-to-man -man defense. And we're going to have a holding foul before the ball's even inbounded. That's going to be on Northwood. 
Johnson picks up her quick second and the team's fourth. So Rochester will shoot double bonus. Well, shoot two, I guess it's not double bonus. We'll shoot two the rest of the quarter. <coughs> Bullinger in and field comes out. They give it to McCarter on the inbound. She's gonna be fouled and she'll get to go to the line to shoot two. Nice play there, a little cross screen from Audrey Bollinger. Freed up McCarter. Heflin will pick up her first. So now McCarter will go to the line to shoot two, looking for her first points of the afternoon. I mean, that was a really nice screen by Audrey Bollinger because, and you know, when she hadn't, you know, she hadn't played basketball last year, and I think part of the adjustment is how do you adjust to the physicality of the game. McCarter. And, uh, Two free throws coming. That, that's, that has never been an issue this no. season. First shot is good. 16 to four. Now, if we ask Audrey, I'd like to know uh, her, <laughs> her answer, answer to that question. But I mean, that was a. And so here's the second shot on the way. That was a good screen, really and good screen. And the free throws missed. Rebound comes away to Northwood. Edwards looks to push, gets it ahead to Heflin. Heflin down low to Payne. Payne up off the glass, good. Claire Payne has six on the afternoon, and it's 18 to four now. Northwood lead. Here's McCarter, left side, brings it back to the middle, now to Hunter. Hunter has it in the corner to Wilson. Quickly back up top to Clevenger at the top. She'll dribble across and give it off to McCarter. Now to Wilson. Wilson guarded by Yoder. Now to Hunter, to McCarter against Payne. Now to Wilson, back to McCarter, left corner. That's and moving screen. We're going to have an offensive foul against Rochester. Val said a moving screen. That'll be on Aubrey Wilson. And Wilson going to pick up her second. second. And so that'll be the first of the quarter for Rochester. Timing of that play was a little bit off. Yeah. and Right idea. Just yeah. Off. Here is Northwood with the basketball. That is Branham. Branham now to Edwards. Branham gets the ball back, three on the way, good. And Ella Branham gets her first points of the contest. 21 to four now. Wilson to Clevenger. Clevenger around the screen. Now picks up her dribble. She's got to get it to McCarter and does top the key. McCarter, cross court pass to Wilson. Wilson against Yoder, goes to the hole, throws up a shot off the glass, no good. Gets her own rebound, go, tries to go back up, and we're gonna have a jump ball, and we do. It'll stay with Rochester. And so coming in will be Mia Hadeshell, and she'll replace Wilson, who will sit down with two fouls. 3.58 to go here before halftime, 21 to four. Uh, good idea, boy. If, if Aubrey Wilson can add that to her yep. game where she can just take it to the hoop off the dribble. But she's really going to be fun to watch. Hunter to get it in, and it's going to be out of bounds. It'll be Northwood basketball. Yeah, it was not touched, yep. so it'll be Northwood ball. Either way, it was going to be Northwood basketball. Right, it was just a just, matter of yeah, where. Yeah, the officials were just discussing <laughs> that briefly. And then they'll have it on the baseline, but Zebra's back in the half court waiting on them. Turnover on Rochester. Here's Branham to Edwards, three on the way for her, deep three, no good, and McCarter with a rebound. McCarter will bring it across the timeline. McCarter getting the offense set. They go to Hunter, almost stolen. Hunter, now to Clevenger. Clevenger on the right wing against Yoder. They give it to Bollinger and travel, yep. Established a pivot foot and then changed pivot feet. Again, they, Northwood just really, they're impressive defensively because they recover really well defensively. Riley Clevenger had an open look there, but Yoder closed out. Just hustled back into the play and closed out quickly, yeah. Yoder, Yoder Branham, down to Payne. Payne has it back to Branham. Branham on the right side. Branham double team. Now they go to Yoder. Yoder reverses it. Now in the corner, here's Edwards. Edwards drives around McCarter, layup up and good. Edwards has four. 23 to four. Here's Clevenger now with the basketball against Yoder. She'll go left side, leave it for Hottishell. Hottishell right in front of the Northwood bench. Now kicks it back up top to McCarter. McCarter to Clevenger on the right side. McCarter around Yoder, gives it off to Hunter. Hunter puts it on the floor, one dribble, and back to Clevenger. Clevenger 
to the paint. Running jumper does not get the roll. Payne has the rebound. Quickly out to Branham. Branham for Northwood. Branham down in the corner. Now has to kick it back out, and she does so to Eflin. They swing it to Edwards. Left side, three ball. Off the mark. McCarter with the rebound. McCarter. Coach Burris says push it. Now to Clevenger. Swings it to Hadeshell. Thought about a three, passed it up. Now tries to go to Bollinger, and it's knocked away. Bollinger picks it back up. Now to Hadeshell. Stolen by Branham. Branham gets it off to Heflin. Heflin quickly ahead to Edwards. Edwards, top of the key. Now to Heflin. Right side, right in front of Coach Burris. Dribbles back to the middle. Now down in the corner. They go to Claire, and it goes out of bounds. Pass from Branham to Payne goes out of bounds. And Hottishell's out. Wilson back in. Coming out will be 15 Edwards. And coming in is 32. That's Emily Miller for Northwood. Turnover number seven for Northwood as compared to uh, 16 for Rochester. Under two to go here before halftime. Clevenger with a basketball. Now to Wilson. Wilson. Down to the left side, now retreats. Brings it back up top to, Clev or to McCarter. McCarter leaves it for Clevenger against Branham. Clevenger into the circle, jump stops, kicks it back out to McCarter. Now to Wilson. Back to Clevenger. Gets a screen by Bollinger. Now to McCarter. Minute 20 to go here before halftime. Screen by Bollinger, and yep, she didn't come set. Right idea, but unfortunately, Bollinger gonna pick up her second. Team second of the quarter. And coming back into the contest, Payne will sit down and coming in is Tessa Branham. So both Branham sisters on the floor. Rochester uh, adding some high ball screens to their offense this year, but uh, that one was. Ella Branham has the basketball, top the key. Now to Yoder. That one was a little bit too much. <laughs> Johnson just catches it, or excuse me, Heflin just catches it and tries to throw it down low, and it's stolen away by Rochester. Yeah. It was a little too physical and right in front of the referee, but Audrey Bollinger makes a nice play at the other end defensively. McCarter has it. McCarter just inside the three ball. No good. And here's the rebound by Hunter. Hunter gives it up to Wilson. Now to McCarter. Three on the way for Ella. Rims out. No good. And Ella Branham with a rebound. Here is Yoder. You know, that second one was a really good look. The first one was a pretty good look, and the second one was a really good look. And Yoder gives been, it off. It's been that kind of half. To Miller. Miller has it stolen by Wilson, and she's going to be fouled. And that will send Aubrey Wilson to the line to shoot two. As that foul is whistled against Miller, her first. And Wilson looking for her first points of the contest yeah. at the line now for two free throws. Just a frustration foul, and that's not a good foul at committing a foul yeah. at half court when your opponent's in the bonus, and they're struggling like heck to score. Wilson, kind of a line drive off the back of the iron. No arch on that one, and it's 23-4 still. 31.9 seconds remaining here before halftime. Wilson will have a second one. Takes her time. This one's got a little better arch, and it makes it through. 23-5 with 30 seconds to go. Here comes Yoder with the basketball. She'll walk it across the timeline. Now to Heflin. Heflin dribbles to the near side. Now he leaves it over for Branham. Back up top to Yoder. Back to Heflin. Heflin, far side. Brings it to Branham. Branham will fire a three off the mark. No good, but right there to get the rebound is Heflin. Her shot up and good. Haley Heflin, 25 to five, three seconds. Wilson has it, and it's gonna be kicked out of bounds by Northwood, and it'll stay with Rochester with 1.8 seconds to go. Wilson looking to get it in. Wilson, get it to McCarter. McCarter, buzzer shot, and nope, that's gonna do it. For the first half, your halftime score on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, Northwood. 25, Rochester 5, back with the halftime show being brought to you by Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier when we come back. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV 4. That'll do it for the halftime show being brought to you by Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier as we get ready to start third quarter 
here at Rochester High School. Glad you could join us here this afternoon, Rainey and Val. I want to thank Steve on the camera this afternoon. And Yoder will have it to start for Northwood. They bring it to the near side now to Johnson. Johnson back to Heflin. Heflin down in the corner. Goes back to Yoder. They swing it left side. Now here's a move at the paint. They kick it out to Heflin. Heard her uh, two ball on the way. He's good. Two point basket. Heflin now with nine. Here's Wilson with a basketball. Wilson and guarded by Yoder. Comes to this near side now. They give it to Clevenger as they run her off the double screen. Now to McCarter. McCarter dribbles in, kicks it out to Clevenger. Three on the way, off the mark. But Field with a rebound, put back up and good. Jaden Field gets her first two of the contest, and it's a 20-point Northwood lead, 27-20. Jaden Field playing center field. Johnson to Yoder. Now to Heflin. Heflin with a basketball. And it's stolen by Wilson. Wilson picks it up, goes up off the glass, and rolls out. No good. And a rebound comes away to Northwood. Heflin pushes. Heflin then will wait on the rest of her teammates, and she'll give it off to Johnson right side. They go down low to Payne. She was double teamed, still coming away with it. Kicks it back out to Johnson. Good effort there by Field. Now over in the corner. Here's a move by Edwards. Goes up, no good. Rebound comes away to Heflin gives it to Johnson. Three on the way for Johnson. Good. Johnson's first points of the contest. 30 to 7. Might well, have just been that kind of day. Here it comes. seems like you're scratching and clawing yeah. defensively, and then the, the, the ball takes a funny bounce off the backboard, and all of a sudden Johnson's shooting an open three. McCarter to Clevenger. Open three here for Riley. Good. Clevenger's got six, and it's 30 to 10. Here Ellen, comes Yoder. Well, Ellen McCarter is such an, I've said she's an underrated passer. Yeah. I don't think she's underrated anymore. She's just a flat out good passer. Goes to Payne, Payne up underneath the basket too far and her shot comes off pretty hard. And it's gonna be a scramble on the floor, Bollinger. And she comes away with it, tie ball. And it's Rochester basketball in the tie up. Here comes pressure by Northwood. Wilson looking to get it in, Wilson. Going to have to hurry. Finally does it. Gets it to McCarter. McCarter will drive it right up the middle. McCarter right around Johnson. Now it gives it off back to Wilson. Wilson will set things up against Yoder. Comes to the near side now to Clevenger. Clevenger drives in, picks up her dribble. Now out to McCarter. McCarter, top of the key. Goes right side. Screen by Bollinger on Johnson. But there is Edwards to pick her up. She goes to field, blocked by Payne. And a rebound to Johnson. Head and ball fake will get Payne up off her feet next time. Here is the Edwards down the other end, and that's going to be too hard off the back of the glass. No good, but last touch by Rochester. It'll stay with Northwood right in front of their own bench. And Rochester did not get back defensively the no. way they needed to, but they caught a break there. That was a missed bunny. Yoder to get it in. Yoder looking, gets it into Edwards. Edwards left wing, now to Heflin, down to Payne again. Payne this time wide open, up and good to foul. Payne's got two more in the foul coming against Rochester. 25 Bollinger, that's her third. Team's first of the quarter. And Claire Payne will go back to the line. The last time she was there, she missed it. 0 for 1 for well, Payne. If she, catch, if she catches it that close to the basket, you just need to need to just back off and give her the bucket. Misses that one, but Northwood comes away with the rebound. Shot up and no good by Johnson, but she's going to be fouled. So Johnson will go to the line. And that foul is on McCarter, her first, team second of the quarter. And Johnson now will shoot two. Free throw on the way for Johnson. In and out, no good. Still 32 to 10 with 5-12 here in this third quarter. Second free throw on the way now for Johnson. Callie Johnson gets a second one. She's got four points all in this quarter. 33 to 10. Again, man press put on by Northwood. McCarter against Johnson will zigzag her and bring it across the timeline. Now gives it off to Wilson. Wilson top the key at the volleyball line. Comes to the near side now to Clevenger. Left wing, Clevenger gives it to McCarter. McCarter against Johnson, dribbles down. Looking, now finds Wilson. 
Wilson, top the key. Free throw line. Gives it back to McCarter. Now they go to McCarter. Screen by Bollinger. McCarter shot up, no good. And a quick rebound by Johnson. Pushes ahead to Heflin. Back to Johnson. They swing it over to Edwards. Edwards down in the corner. Edwards dribbles the baseline. Throws up a shot. Partially blocked by Bollinger. Picked up by Field. Good defense by Audrey. Here's McCarter. Nobody on her this time, so she'll bring it across the timeline. Right side to Wilson. Now to McCarter. Top the key. 4.15 to go here in the third quarter. 33-10. Northwood, Northwood fights and communicates well through that high ball screen there. Clevenger has it. That's maybe the most impressive part of their defense. Now to Wilson, to McCarter. They but, also do a lot of switch, and they're talking and, and, yeah. and do that, do yeah. that switch. They, yeah, they communicate well, and that's, that's especially good for the first game of the season. Open three for Wilson, and top the key is good. Nice look by McCarter on the kick out as she dribbled down. The baseline was taken away. Saw Wilson at the top, and a great look. Yes, 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 <laughs> Aubrey Wilson, as opposed to no, 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 yes, the last game. Johnson double dribbles, turnover against Northwood, and the Zebras trail by 20. I think people were amused when I said that yeah, the other night. Yeah, I think night. they were, yes, especially her mother. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of no, 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 yes, yes. that was yes, yes, that yes, was, all the way yes. Yeah, that was a, a great all-around play, McCarter. Dribbled in, drew the defense, and then kicked it out. Great pass, shot it in in form. Here is Bollinger with the basketball. Bollinger, top the key, not where you want Bollinger to be handling the basketball, and she'll finally give it off to Clevenger. Well, she did a nice job there. She kept, did do a nice kept job. Her, kept her dribble low. And here's McCarter out to Wilson again, left side. Back to McCarter. McCarter will bring it back to the top of the key against Payne. McCarter has it knocked loose, picks it back up. Got to find somebody open. She goes down low to Bollinger, and she's going to be fouled. It's going to be foul on Jocelyn Edwards, her second team first of the quarter. So with 3.12 to go, it'll be Zebra basketball trailing by 20. Yeah, Edwards didn't seem to like the call, and she had a word with the official, yeah. kind of what did I do? But that's, again, Audrey Bollinger is not a big scoring threat uh, with her yeah. back to the basket, so that's really not a foul you like to commit. Obviously, they're not in any trouble Field with the bonus gets yet. Gets it in. Top the key, Wilson dribbles in, loses it, picked up by Field, and Payne's going to tie her up. It'll go back to Northwood. Another turnover on the Lady Zebras. First turnover of the half for Rochester after it took for almost five minutes. And we got a timeout on the field, or on the court. It's going to be a 30 second timeout. 33 13 with 301 to go here in the third. 33 13 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebras trail by 20. You know, Taylor Burkhardt's dad, Dwayne, was the longtime athletic director at Tippecanoe Valley, but before he was the AD, Dwayne was a basketball coach himself. Okay. Coached the Valley girls by the ones back in the 80s and 90s. And, uh, of course, both Taylor and his assistant coach, Robbie Groom, both played for Bill Patrick. That's uh, <laughs> not a bad influence to have. No. Here's Northwood with the basketball. Edwards, top of the key. Edwards gives it off to Heflin. Heflin, top of the key. And the ball's knocked loose. And as a scramble for the ball, Wilson's going to shove Heflin, or Edwards in the back, and that's going to be her third, team third of the quarter. 2.48 to go here in this third quarter. They get it into Edwards. Back over to Branham, who checked in at the timeout. Also now Davis in the contest for Northwood. And a blocking foul on field will be her second. Team's fourth of the quarter. Davis checked in as well. And that's the first opportunity she's had. In, in time, as Jaden uh, gets more experience, she'll she will be able to avoid that foul and realize that the baseline is your friend on defense there. Here is the inbound pass. Now off to Edwards. Back to, that's uh, Heflin. Now in the corner. Ball's tipped around and Clevenger knocks it free. Wilson picks it up. Wilson down the sideline. Wilson down to McCarter. Here's an open three for Ella. No good. And the rebound will go him away to Payne. Payne gives it up to Edwards. And now a travel on Heflin. Yeah, Heflin just looked like she got her feet tangled. Illinois defeats Indiana in overtime. IU got a field goal, Illinois got a touchdown. 
And Wilson is going to be fouled on the dribble. Don't worry, Randy. I wasn't going to go to Florida for a bowl game anyway. <laughs> I don't think I you got to worry about a bowl game, Val. Well, they, they technically were eligible. They still were getting there, but uh, they were eligible for a bowl game. Yeah. Now they're ineligible. And that foul was coming on 12. That was Branham, her second. Branham will sit down. And now Wilson will have the inbounds. She's going to be guarded by Johnson. Comes to the near side. Clevenger on the left wing. Now picks up her dribble. Goes down low to Field. Field with a nice move at the block. Goes up and scores. Here's Edwards. Gives it off to Johnson. Johnson back to Edwards. Edwards dribbles in. Edwards up off the glass. Doesn't get the roll. Rebound comes away to Northwood, but uh, it's going to be given to Davis, but she throws it in the hands of Riley Clevenger. Uh, Northwood fans wanted to foul, and yeah. it's because there was a foul. Uh, and here is a Wilson. Break there. Wilson top of the key to McCarter. McCarter pull up jumper. In and out, and no good. And the rebound fought for. It's going to be whistled out of bounds. Last touch by Northwood. Zebra basketball. Nice Northwood job by Field. 44, Tessa Brandon will come in, and Yoder back into the contest. Megan Yoder, a junior on this ball club. Again, this young Rochester team has been, uh, they've handled physical play well through the first four games. I think that was kind of a concern, especially such a young team. Field into McCarter. McCarter, 12-footer, off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for, and I believe we're going to have a foul on the Zebras. And that will put them third foul teams fifth, so we will shoot free throws as we're going to shoot free throws down at the other end as Mia Hadashel will come in and she'll come in for field. So right now, Wilson and Field and Bollinger all with three fouls for Rochester. So we'll walk to the other end and Addie Davis, a 5'9 freshman, We'll get to shoot two free throws. Minute 13 to go here in this third quarter, 33-15. Yes. First shot on the way by Davis is no good, hey, short. You look at the NLC, I think Warsaw is probably yeah. the favorite. Coach Krebs does a great job there. Rochester wants a timeout, we'll take one as well. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, RTC TV 4. Braylon Hunter checks in during that timeout for Rochester. As we get back to action, Addie Davis back at the free throw line shooting one. She missed the f first one. Yeah, I was going to say in the NLC, I mean, I think Warsaw, I think their sixth, their sixth man has got a D1 off. I mean, they are <laughs> loaded. Uh, and they, If you haven't seen Warsaw, they are fun to watch, yeah. too. They are quick. They get it up and down, and they all can shoot. Addie Davis gets a second one to fall. And now it's 34. 15. But this Northwood team is going to compete in that conference. Yep. This is a good team. Here's McCarter with the basketball left side. McCarter, the give and go to Hunter. Hunter down low at the block. Hunter tries to wrap it around and gives it off to Hottishell. A tie up, and it's going to stay with Rochester. Jump ball, possession stays. And it'll be down underneath the basket with 56.6 seconds to go here in the third quarter. And the thing about Northwood is that they play tough man to man, but they don't give up back cuts either. Yeah. Uh, again, that's uh, just a well-drilled team defensively. Ball's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester. And, I mean, they've the had long athletes for generations, I mean, decades. Coming up next week, as we mentioned in the pregame show, it's at Peru and at Maconaqua Thursday and Saturday next week for the Lady Zebras. Clevenger with the basketball. Now down low to Hunter. Hunter kicks it back to Clevenger. Back to Wilson, top of the key. Wilson goes right side, leaves it for Hottishell. Hottishell tries to go back door to McCarter. Ball's loose and picked up by Northwood. That was kind of the Val reverse jinx. <laughs> they tried a back cut, and it just didn't work. They kick it into Branham. She kicks it back out to Johnson. Three on the way is good. Callie Johnson's got seven in the quarter. And it's 37-15 with 20 seconds to go in the third. Here's Clevenger around Yoder. Kicks it back out to Wilson. Wilson 
Now to Clevenger. Clevenger to McCarter. Eighth, eight seconds to Wilson. Down to six. Now over to Clevenger with three. Clevenger at the buzzer. Well, 0.6 seconds. Throwing up a last second shot. She got fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. And it's going to be the third. Number three, Davis picked up the foul. Her first team third. Doesn't really matter in the quarters. They'll reset here in 0.6 seconds, but it does allow Riley Clevenger to go to shoot two. And, you know, Riley spent a lot of time in the weight room also. She's a lot quicker and stronger than she was last year, and I think because of that she was able to kind of get through that yeah. and and have the defender bounce off her. And, boy, you really want Riley Clevenger shooting free throws. She and she and Ella should be. She makes them both. <laughs> Almost jinxed her. 37-17, and that'll do it for the quarter. At the end of three complete, it is Northwood, 37, Rochester, 17. Back with fourth and final quarter after this. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. As the starters, let's see, is it starters back on the floor? Nope. It's going to be Hot Shell, Clevenger, McCarter, Hunter, and Wilson on the floor for Rochester. Boy, put that quarter in a put that quarter in a bottle and try and keep repeating it if you're Rochester. Here is Northwood with the basketball. Johnson that, has it. That, that's a mixed metaphor. I'll, let me <laughs> can I take that? Can I take, take that, that back? Let's, uh, try to re, let's try to repeat that quarter in the fourth quarter like they did in the third quarter. 12-12 in the quarter. Rochester played much better. Yoder with a running hook shot and it's good. And Megan Yoder has five on the afternoon, and it's 39-17. What well, tip your cap to that. Wow. Clevenger with it. Now to Hata Shell. Not many girls have that shot in their arsenal. No. Clevenger, right side. Now to Hunter. She'll fire three from the right corner. Off the mark, no good. Ball's tipped, and the rebound comes away to Johnson. Johnson has the basketball. Johnson ahead to Payne. Shot is no good. Hunter good. with the rebound. Good defense by McCarter. Payne on the afternoon, only eight points. Zebra's doing a pretty good, decent job of shutting her down, but allowing the guards out front a little more. Here's McCarter, now to Clevenger. They swing it to Wilson. Wide open three on the left side. Off the mark, no good. Rebound, Hunter. Hunter has it. Her pass is stolen. Here is Edwards. Edwards, right hand layup, up and good. 41-17. Here comes Wilson with the basketball. Wilson has it, comes to the left side to Clevenger. Clevenger around Yo Edward, or excuse me, around Yoder up and good. Nice move by Riley Clevenger. 41-19. That's one of the few times that the help side defense has not been there for Northwood. Here's that Edwards. Was, uh, now yeah, Yoder. That was the golden road to the hoop for Riley Clevenger. Here is Miller with the basketball. Down low to Payne. She kicks it back out. They swing it to Edwards in the corner. Three ball for her. Off the mark. No good. And the rebound comes away to Johnson. Up no good. Payne again. Good this time. Payne has 10 now. It's 43-19. Wilson will bring it across the timeline. And knocked out of bounds by Yoder. It'll stay with Lady Rochester. Panther substitution, Panther substitution 11, number 11, Householder coming in. And 22, and 22 Heflin checking back in. Wilson will get it. She'll bring it across the timeline out of the backcourt. Leaves it for McCarter in front of the Zebra bench. Now to Hotta Shell. Free throw line. Kicks it back to Wilson. Wilson to McCarter. Head fake. Now to Hotta Shell. Hotta Shell to Clevenger. Drives the paint, throws up a running jumper, no good. And the rebound comes away to Northwood, but her teammate knocked her over. And a foul, or excuse me, and a turnover on the travel. <laughs> Great effort, but uh, two Northwood <laughs> players going after the basketball. Emily Miller with kind of a sheepish smile there. Clevenger gets it in to McCarter. Back to Clevenger. Clevenger drives in, kicks to McCarter. Head fakes, gives it to Wilson. She'll fire a three. Left wing, good. Wilson with two threes in the contest. And it's 43-22. Here is Householder with it. She gives it off to Miller. Miller's three ball no good, but she follows her shot, gets her own rebound, goes up and gets the roll. 
Emily Miller with two more. She's got four. 45-22. Here's Wilson. Picks up her dribble. Goes to Hottishell. Hottishell against Miller. Back to Wilson. Again, Wilson. They, they cover the back cut so well. Yeah. Ball's knocked loose. Johnson has it, and it's going to be tied up. It'll go back to Rochester on the alternating possession. Zebras will have it, and Bollinger and Field will come back in. McCarter and Hottishell will sit down. Rochester will only have three turnovers this half. Much better. Much, yeah. Uh, Yoder sits down as well for and Brom in there. She steals the inbounds pass, turns around, throws up a shot, no good, gets her own rebound, kicks it out. Too short for Northwood, and the ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Northwood, zebra basketball. Yeah, I think they've got a player in Ella Branham, just a freshman. Yeah, could be. But she is another long and athletic defender. <laughs> she is very, she's listed at 5'7", uh, but her arms are every bit of that. Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, she got the message that if you, you want to get some playing time as a freshman for Taylor Burkhart, play some defense. Yeah. Here's the pass to Hunter. Left side, three ball on the way, off the mark, no good. And Branham gets the rebound. Branham will run it across the timeline against Clevenger. She tries to go to Payne, and Payne outruns the ball, and it'll be a turnover. Here comes Wilson and the Zebras. And Branham makes up for it because she steals that pass. Branham to the hole, layup up and good. Rams got two more, and it's 47-22. Wilson swings it to Hunter on the right side. Wilson back up top to Clevenger, wide open three, short. Rebound fought for it. Bollinger has it, and she's going to be fouled. And the first foul of the quarter for Northwood is coming. Should be on Heflin. And it is going to be her second, team first. Nice offensive rebound by Audrey. And Coach Burkhart going on the bench again. Coming in will be Kinsey Hartman, another freshman for the first time. He's got three freshmen listed on this varsity roster. Ball gets into Bollinger. Bollinger, spin move, throws up a shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, power dribble, goes back up and good. Bollinger with her first points of the afternoon. 47-24, quickly ahead. Here is Miller. Slides up for a three, way off the mark. Bollinger gets the air ball rebound. Quickly ahead. Here's oh, Field on the ball. other end. Payne with a block. And going to step out of bounds as Field on the save. Payne oh. came out of nowhere to get the block. I thought Field had a wide open layup. Yeah, that was just a tremendous play by Claire Payne. That's just <laughs> not how many girls at Rochester will face this year that can do that. Here is, uh, that's Hossholder with the ball. Now to Miller. Miller's going to be fouled on the shot. And that's going to be on Brayland Hunter, her first, team first of the quarter. But that will send. That will send the Northwood Panthers. Emily Miller will get to shoot two. She's already got four points on the afternoon. First one is good. 48-24, and a 44 Tessa Branham checks in, and Payne will sit down. With 3.01 to go here in the fourth, 48-24. That, that Valley Northwood matchup at the Panther Pit next week is going to be a good one. Second free throw is good for Miller. 49-24. Here is Clevenger with the basketball. Comes in here, side to Wilson. Wilson around the defender, throws up a shot short. Ball's knocked away, and Miller comes away with it. We're going to have a jump ball. Nope, going to call travel. I thought we maybe had a jump ball before, but a turnover on Northwood. Turnovers this half, Northwood 8, Rochester 5. Coming in for the first time this afternoon is number 25. I do not have a 25 listed, so I'll have to get that here for you in just a few minutes for Northwood. Field throws it in to Clevenger. Clevenger against Hartman. Now to Wilson. Kicks it out to McCarter. Left side, McCarter goes to the hole. Wrap around a wide open field. Good. Field has six. And McCarter gets an assist. 
And Miller now with the basketball, gets it across the timeline and travel before the turnover, before she falls down. So it's gonna be probably a turnover either way. Coach Burkhart getting some subs in and uh, you can tell they haven't played yet because a little helter skelter for Northwood. Right. Yeah, and we're gonna have a moving screen on a field. That's going to be her fourth, team second of the quarter. Rochester now putting on a little pressure. And Northwood wants a timeout. It's a 60. We'll be back after this with 2.20 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 49-26, Northwood leads Rochester. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back to live action, 49-26. Northwood leads Rochester. Coming up next week, Val, we get to start TRC action as we get a, a double Miami County uh, road trip on Thursday and Saturday with uh, Peru and McConaughey. Yeah, Peru hasn't won a game yet. They're playing Culver Academy today. Uh, they suffered some graduation losses yeah. at Peru last year, but they got a really good sophomore in uh, Robbins who is, I think, taking in more of the ball handling responsibilities yeah. this year. She's an outstanding young player as a sophomore. Uh, and it, uh, the McConaughey was at Manchester yeah. this afternoon. So. Tiger, Tigerine has been a tough place for Rochester. It has been. Years. Even in some games they've won there, they have not played well. Hartman with the basketball. Now here is Northwood, and that is 25 and a travel. We'll protect her. We'll protect her name. Identity. Yes. For <laughs> purposes for future. Yeah. <laughs> here is Wilson with the basketball. Wilson now to McCarter. McCarter has it. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger, top of the key. Now to Bollinger at the free throw line. Back to Clevenger. Clevenger has it with under two to go here in the fourth quarter. McCarter, three ball on the way, off the mark, yeah. and it's picked up by Northwood. I think Rochester's been wearing down a little bit the past minute or two. Householder. That was a kind of a tire-looking shot. Yeah. Down low to Branham. Branham shot up no good. McCarter with the rebound. She's going to be double teamed and fouled as they push her out of bounds. So Zebras will have it the length of the court as that is only the team's second. They're gonna, Johnson is the last name on 25. I did catch Mr. Beeler on that one. And that's her first foul. Minute 35 to go here yeah. in the game. Brooke Johnson that okay. is. Yeah. As the Zebras have the basketball. McCarter, now to Wilson, back to Clevenger. Clevenger, top the key. Clevenger, now to Bollinger. Bollinger, looking, looking, finds Wilson, top the key. Wilson around the right side. Wilson, back to Bollinger, can't handle the pass, and it'll be out of bounds, or travel on Bollinger. Minute 15 to go here in today's contest. And McConaughey next Saturday, they look to be, uh, I've heard a lot about their freshman class. Uh. Here's Zebras with the pressure, and we're gonna have a foul against Field and that will foul her out of the contest. Or foul number it was that on Wilson? That was on Field. Field. And that is Field's fifth. So Hunter will come in for her. Jaden Field finishes the afternoon with three field goals and six points. Raylan Hunter will come in and Hottishell will check in as Bollinger will sit down as well. McCon 109. Conquo with a bunch of Mabins. We'll see them next week. <laughs> and here's the basketball. Now Householder has it. Householder at the free throw line. And she's going to be fouled by Wilson. And that'll be the team fourth. Wilson's fourth. So it'll be out of bounds. As Johnson will look to get the ball in. Johnson gets it in to Branham. Her shot up, no good. Aubrey Wilson with the rebound. Wilson has the basketball for the Zebras. Leaves it for Hunter. Hunter on the right side, kicks it back out. Here's Hottishell with it. Hottishell down in the corner to McCarter. She'll drive the baseline. Leaves it for Hunter wide open, up and good. Good attack that time by the Zebras. 49-28 with 30 seconds to Another go. Another good pass by McCarter. Here is Branham on the right side. Branham drives the baseline. Going to be last touch by the Zebras. 
Uh, I don't know if you have call Ellen McCarter a point forward or a, but she's she's a good playmaker. Yeah, and it's not you know she draws a lot of attention when she drives that baseline. Right, you got a lot of you got multiple playmakers on that team, and this would be that's a good sign. I think mean, this team's going to be productive offensively. Of, Eventually, again, this is one of the better defensive teams they're going to face Johnson. all year. So you look at 28 points, and oh, they're not struggling to score again. But this is this is a lot of, has to do with Northwood's defense. Johnson drives the baseline, has it knocked out of bounds, so it'll be back to Northwood underneath their own basket. 27.3 to go. Again, it's 24-23 since halftime. They get the ball in. Here's a three-pointer by Hartman, and it rattles around good. Kinsey Hartman. 52-28 with under 20 seconds to go. How to show with it. How to show with the basketball. Now to McCarter. McCarter dribbles in, gives it to How to show. Down low to Clevenger. Clevenger kicks it back out to How to show. The inside out game on the way, no good. But a foul coming and Mia How to show will go to the line to shoot three. And that foul coming against Northwoods. 44, Tessa Branham, her first, team third. Oh, they called it after the shot, okay, so she won't shoot three. Zebra's inbounded, and that'll do it for the ball game. 52-28 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, the final here this afternoon. 